All right, welcome back. We will continue where we left off from the previous video. Uh, very briefly, we created a welcome.h, which provided the interface. We created a welcome.c, which provided the implementation. And in our main.c, we actually called welcome. So let's begin this video by going to the welcome and actually making this do something. I'll comment out this technique of just making sure we got there and instead in our welcome what we want to do is print out the program version and uh, and, and the top basically the title the version the developer so I'll say uh, print F we'll say, and let, let's do it like this let's come up here and uh, let's do some pound defines let's do prog name and we'll call this guess what and let's have a pound define um, we'll say version and we'll say 1.0.0 and let's have a pound define um, so the program the version how about the developer and this is where you'll put your name Right, all of those. So notice this is only in this implementation. So only only within here. But this allows you we can change things as needed. So we'll come here and we'll do a printf. Let's say we'll give the program name. So that's gonna be one percent s. I'm gonna do a backslash in. I'm gonna we'll then say uh, the version. So I'll say version that will even do it like this right here we'll say uh, version so I'll put another percent s here to put in another string and then I'll put another uh, backslash in and I'll say copyright so copyright C uh, 2021 and then maybe we'll do backslash in and put the developer so percent s backslash in now in previous videos I broke all these up but every time I do a video I like to do it a little differently so here we're going to have the program name we'll have the version we'll have the developer all of that and notice I put it, we know a percent %s is a placeholder for a string. So this percent %s picks up this, this percent %s picks up that, and this percent %s picks up the developer. So once you've got that more fully implemented, go ahead and click on Run. And of course you see this is the Guess What program, version 1, copyright, and your name. So we kind of mapped out our implementation better there. All right, next we need to display some help information. And again, our focus here is modular programming. And we could actually, listen carefully, we could have actually assigned one developer to be working on the welcome code while we assign another developer to work on the help code. So I'll click on add file and we'll call this help.h. Remember you always start with your header file help.h. So just to make it clear I'll say help.h using our our single line comment. We know this is the header file which is the interface. Right, it tells us how we're going to use it. And this one, remember from the previous one, anytime you have a header file, you like to begin it with an if not defined. And again, make sure you have the end there. That's the number one error I see people make when they're doing this. We'll say underscore, underscore, help, underscore, underscore. If that's not defined, then define it. Underscore, underscore, help, underscore, underscore. And then end if. So this makes sure 
as we said before, that the header file is included only once. In fact, I'll, I'll stress that again. Ensure header file only included once. And for what is it we want help to do? Well, we don't want it to return anything. And we just want to call help with no inputs. Notice if this is the function prototype, function prototype, put a semicolon there. It says, this is how you're going to call it, but it's just the interface. It's just the prototype. The implementation is somewhere else. Well, where is the somewhere else? Well, we know the implementation is in help.c. So I'll go ahead and add file, and this will be called help.c. So help.c. I always like to just put the comment there. And since we're implement we want to say what we're implementing, All right, this is the implementation. Well, we need to include from our project, remember the double quotes say from our project, help.h, because that's what we're going to implement. And when I come over here to help.h, I'll just grab. I do this because although this is pretty simple, uh, an error I have seen people make is write a typo. is probably one of the most common errors. So here we know by copy and paste. We know we've got it spelled correctly. Go ahead and move your semicolon and do the open and close curly braces. And this is where we're going to display our help information. So let's, for example, say, oh, how about this? We'll say printf uh, usage info backslash in. And again, I'm going to do something a little differently just to show you some different coding styles. I'm actually going to, once I have this like I want it, actually, even before I go on, notice this implicit de de declaration. Well, we know now how to handle that. It doesn't know what printf is. Well, let's include standard io.h. Now it knows what printf is. So for help, we'll display usage information. We'll say, notice, notice carefully what I'm going to do. I'm going to press enter here. And what I'm going to do is actually so I'll display my usage info, and then I'm going to say um, gosh, I'd like to give my the command we used to start this up. So I'm actually going to do percent %s. So that's one way we can use it. Um, all right, that's one way we can use it. Actually, we'll say dash dash help backslash in. We'll also say percent s dash dash file. And we'll say file name backslash in. And I'll say percent s dash dash. And you know, as I, I start thinking this percent %s is going to be the same thing over and over, um, and that tells me I need to pass this in as a parameter, but when we'll do that, so dash dash list, and I'll say uh, word one, word two, dot, dot, dot. All right, as many as you want, backslash in. And maybe what you should be observing, the semicolon is going to terminate this. The compiler will take all these separate strings, because right, this is a string, this is a string, that, and it will combine them all into one, comma. And we need to give it the command, command, command which we don't have yet, right? Notice it's the error saying undeclared identifier. So we'll come back and say, you know what? It would have been nice and help 
if we passed in as a character pointer the command. It would have been nice if in our help we passed in the command you used to start up this program. Now it is true we know the command is going to be period slash main, but we want to make this where it would work more generically. So notice I've changed my implementation right here. And if I'm going to do this in the implementation, I copy that into my buffer. And I'm going to go put this in the header file. Now I want to stress again, as you're watching this, remember you can pause the video at any time. All right. But again, what we're doing is we're saying we're changing this interface. Originally, we weren't passing anything into it. Now we are. So we're going to go back to our help.h and say, you know what? This should really be a character pointer to the command. That's what we really want. So I recommend once you have your header file and your .c file, go ahead and click on run to look for any syntax errors. For example, an error I know a lot of people will have from previous lessons, you'll forget your comma right here. Right, you'll forget the comma. And of course, you, you immediately see an error. And in fact, when you click on run, you see an error as well. It says, go to line 13, column 10, and it even points to it. Right there, it says, I don't know what that is, because you're missing your comma here. Another one I see people do is miss the semicolon here. Well, same type thing. Notice it's telling you you got the error. And read the error message. It says error. Go to line 14. Go to column 10. And it's even pointing at it. Saying it expected to find that, but it didn't find it. So it's even telling you how to fix it, really. Okay. Now, when we go to main.c, instead of not accepting anything from the command line, we're going to have an integer argc, which is the argument count, and we're going to have a character pointer to an argument vector, and then a vector is an array. In fact, in the next lesson, we'll talk much more about an array, but for right now, an array is more than one. So we're saying we now want to look at these command line arguments. And if we can look at the command line arguments, if, so let's, um, we'll say if 1 is exactly equal to the argument count. If you only entered the argument by itself, then we're going to call help and we're going to pass in argv of 0. If this is a vector of arguments, that is an array of arguments, the very first argument, argument of 0, is the command itself. So we're going to pass that in. Else, we'll just say printf to do backslash in. And of course you're looking right here is saying whoa implicit declaration. Well by now you know you see implicit declaration you're missing a header file. The one we're missing is include hello or, or, pardon me help dot h. Super cool. This is another major major important saying that we've now got two header files. I mean, already you see how pretty cool compared to our previous versions where we put everything in one file. We've now got it very modular. You could look at the help, you can look at the welcome. In a big project, one developer could be focused on help, another developer focused on welcome. Let's go ahead and click on run. Notice, guess what, the usage info, check that out. It's showing it passed in 
this argument zero is the name of the command. And notice we have it there. Probably the last thing to check is to do peer slash main, oh, let's say dash dash help. And of course, we need to handle this. We need to handle that you said dash dash help, but you see that that gets us to the, the to do. And for this video, I think we'll stop right here. This is actually a good, a good milestone that we've made it this far. Um, for this video, the key thing again, we've added the help.h, we implemented our help.c, and we tested it out in our main program. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks as always for watching.